Your shoulders are like this because you are stressed. In this video, I'm gonna show you my very best ways to reduce the tension in your shoulders, pull your shoulders down, relax your neck and shoulder muscles, and feel and function better. This video is for you if you feel your shoulders are up around your ears. My name is Dr. John Saunders. If you're new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you like to be able to help yourself in the comfort of your home, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be informed when I upload a new video. And if you like the content I'm putting out, give me the thumbs up to show some support. And if you have a question, put it in the comments below and I promise to answer it. I feel that this video will be beneficial to most people living today in our stressful environment, and that includes you. How can you tell if this is a problem? Well, first of all, your, your shoulders will be hiked up and you don't even know it. You come down, you look at yourself in the mirror, go look at yourself in the mirror, and you're gonna see yourself. And if you actually have to think to release your shoulders, this video is for you. If you can find a trigger point here, this video will be for you. And finally, if you have pain or stress or tension there, this video will help with that as well. When we're under stress, we go into a protective posture. Our muscles fire. It's like we're getting ready to run, but we're sitting in front of our computers. This creates tension. Couple that with the fact that we do not move enough, that is a recipe for your shoulders up to your ears. In this video, I'm gonna go through a routine. This routine needs to be done exactly how I show you for it to be effective. It's quick, it's easy, and it works. Stay with me to the end of this video because at the end, I'm gonna give you one simple tip. If you don't do anything else, this can help relax your shoulders. Let's get right to showing you how to release the tension in your neck, reduce pain and headaches, and let your shoulders relax. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to release a trigger point. First, you want to take your fingers, you want to palpate the upper trap, the junction between your neck and your trap, and you're just going to gently push. You will feel, and there is one right there, you're going to feel some tight nodules. They might be tender. When you push on them, they might refer like this one's referring to the back behind my ear. That is a trigger point. This is the first thing you wanna do when trying to eliminate muscle knots and tension in your shoulders. You wanna hold this trigger point or tension point for as long as it takes for it to dissipate. Get your fingers, I want you to do this with me. Grab your fingers, push into the meaty part of your upper trapezius until you find a nice nodule. There's another one. I hold a lot of my tension up here, so it's quite easy for me to find one. Again, you're gonna press gently, hold, and just hold it until the discomfort diminishes. Now this could cause some strange symptoms. It might cause some pain or tenderness. It could cause a referred pain to the head. It could create a bit of a headache. This could even cause dizziness in some patients. Another helpful tip when you're working your trigger points, if you can't reach an area, it's a little bit too far down, an easy way to get at it is take a golf ball, take a sock, put the golf ball in the sock, and then you can press up against a wall and really find the right spot. So find the pain nodule, recreate the symptom, Hold it for typically around 20 seconds or so until that symptom diminishes. This is step one of four to get your shoulders to relax. If you've worked through that with me, you've worked out some trigger points, the next thing is gonna be a stretch. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our hand and we wanna bring it behind our back. We're gonna drop our shoulder down and at the same time, we're gonna pull our head in the opposite direction direction. And you're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. You should feel the tension almost right up to the skull, along the side, right into the upper tight trap. And now for the second side, come on, do this with me. Take your hand behind your back, take this shoulder, you're going to drop and depress, opposite hand, and pull gently as we're dropping our shoulder down. You will feel an amazing stretch. And you'll come back to neutral and relax. So right away, you should already start to feel some of your shoulder tightness 
and hiking start to be reduced. The next two parts in this routine are actually gonna be exercises. We're gonna work our middle to bottom part of our traps to help reduce the tension and relax the upper part of the muscle. For this exercise, we're gonna activate our posterior shoulders, our middle to lower traps. So on our stomachs, we're relaxed. We're gonna just rest our head down, bring our shoulders and arms between 90 and 120 degrees, thumbs up, and we're just going to come down and up and hold for two seconds. We're gonna rep this out. We're gonna do two to three sets of 10, really focusing on the lower part to help relax the upper traps and shoulders. And this is a focused movement. We really wanna focus on the lower part of the traps. So basically from between the shoulder blades and down. The next exercise should be done immediately after. So to summarize, we've had the trigger point, we've had the shoulder depression stretch, we've had the prone shoulder abduction exercise, and now we're going to do the shoulder placing exercise. Remember, after I demonstrate the shoulder placing exercise, I got one more tip that's simple, easy, and effective to help reduce the tightness, stiffness, and the hiking in your shoulders. So for the shoulder placing, again, we're gonna activate the muscles opposite to the upper traps. Hands to our sides. You can try this exercise with either palms up or palms down or in the midline. Whatever you feel is effective for you. We're gonna rest our head, we're gonna retract our shoulder blades, and we're gonna press our shoulder blades. So we're gonna reach down our legs. So again, we're gonna pull up and down, and we're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. And relax. Again, depress, bring our shoulder blades together, and pull down and reach down our legs. Hold for 10 seconds. The shoulder placing exercise can be done for 10 reps with 10 second holds. And finally, as promised, one of the easiest things that you can do to help reduce tension in your shoulders pull your shoulders down and get them to relax to alleviate muscle knots, muscle pains, headaches, and stiffness is to focus on our breathing. We live in stressful times. Stressful times create a situation where we start to breathe through our chest and we're using muscles, accessory muscles that we shouldn't use. We wanna focus our breathing on our diaphragm. And just to reiterate, this should be the last thing you should do after the trigger point therapy, the depression stretch, the two exercises, and then you breathe. This will take you minutes, but it will be effective. A way to know if you're breathing properly and relaxed and not in a stressful state is to take our hand and put it on our belly. Let me show you what we don't want. We don't want that. We don't want mouth breathing and we don't want, want excessive expansion of the chest. That is meant for when we're exercising, we're running from an animal or we're stressed. During our day-to-day -day life, that is bad breathing. We want to take our hands, breathe in slowly through our nose. You'll feel your hand pop out in your belly. And then when we breathe out, just breathe out, purse your lips. and your belly will suck in. We're using our diaphragm, not our muscular system, like our trapezius and the accessory muscles to breathe. Here is how you do the breathing exercise. So you can do this seated, but I find if you take a minute or two after you've done your trigger point, your stretch and your two exercises, lie down for two or three minutes, get your hand on your stomach and really focus, deep breath in through the nose, and breathe out through your pursed lips. You're gonna do this five to 10 breaths. Very slowly. When you start to breathe like this, 
very slowly, really focus connecting your head with your belly and trying to take the movement out of your chest. This might be difficult at first, but the moment you start to do this, you're going to feel an immediate relaxation in your upper traps and your neck and things will just start to come natural. If you follow this routine, I know that your shoulders, those muscle knots, that tension will improve. You'll feel better, you'll have more energy, you won't have that stressed out posture, and you'll be healthier for it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Stay well.